Hello. Well, it's a beautiful day in Phoenix, Arizona. It's going to be about 98 high today. Right now it's gorgeous out in the morning. Let's see, it's uh, 8.41 my time. Hope you're all doing well. God bless America. God bless all of you. Hope you're all doing well out there. We're going to turn another little candle, teacup candles, as they call it. Anyways, I guess I should invite some people, even though they should be lining up to watch me. But I have to invite them to get them to watch me, apparently. <clears throat> Hang on a second. Okay. Let's invite some peoples, peeps. Invite. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. How you do this? How you invite people? Hang on. Timothy Carter, how you doing? Are you here? Yes, baby. Timothy Carter was here. Now he's gone. Okay, how you do this? Huh? How you do all this stuff? Uh, Marissa, how you doing? There's a bunch of people popping in, popping out. How you doing? Looks like you guys pop in, pop out. All right, let's get going with this. No time like the present. Excuse me. A little burpee. Hey, pop it in, pop it out. Okay, well, that's okay. This thing's so loose. Here we go. This may not work. I'm going against the grain. We'll see. I'm going to try. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure if this is going to work. Well, I'm hoping it will. I, uh, I glued some pieces together that's going the wrong way, the grain. I'm making, 
I'm making these little uh, candle holders, but the, I glued these two pieces together. They're triangle, and I glued them together. And here's one that's just like this one. And I'm going to have to go slow with it because it's really splintering up. So let's hope for the best. I'll have to go slow so I don't. But uh, here's the here's the last bowl I made. I don't, I don't know if you saw this, my friend. What do you think? I did a reveal on it uh, yesterday. but I, And I made it yesterday. This is walnut and walnut and uh, limba. And then the purple heart here and here. And I think it turned out really beautiful. It's one of my favorite bowls so far. What do you think? Voila. I like it. It's small. There's, you know, I got big hands, but still, it's not probably five inches in diameter up here. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Turned out better than I thought, to be honest with you, especially this purple heart. That's some tough stuff to climb into, man. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I'm pleased. Well, uh, well I'm gonna keep chipping away. I, I I don't know. This may be a, a take a nose dive. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I've got to go easy with it. This is uh remnants of the a bowl I made a nut bowl and a mallet and this is some uh, canary wood so let's just see what happens we're gonna go with it you have your good bad and your uglies you know how it is <laughs> this might be ugly I hope not. I hope it's a good all right let me get popping on this again uh -oh. Hey, I appreciate your encouragement. I really do. I think we're going to be okay. I was apparently using a dull chisel. I should have sharpened them on my one, my one inch. And then this is my half inch chisel. And I was using my dominant edge. And so I flipped it around and I used this sharper edge. And it seems like it's taking it down real well. So 
I think we're going to be good. You can see where it's spliced together. I don't know if you can or not. But uh, either way, it's going to be good. This is beautiful wood. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to have to square off this bottom a little bit. I think it's a little... We'll see. Either way, I'll make it work. I gotta figure out how to invite people here. I think I'm gonna try to invite a few people. Get old William on here. My daughter. Can't find somebody here. Hang in there with me. Trying to invite some people that always ask me to invite them so I'm going to try to do that yeah it's hard to remember everybody's names yeah. anyway yeah patch mo is it patch mo or pat shimo <laughs> either way that'll work I'll call you Pat. I think I ask you that every time. Getting a little slippy sliding. Well, it's pretty. It's kind of cool. The grain kind of actually meets where they where it's glued together, kind of flows together. That was a happy mistake. <laughs> Well, let's get some grooves. I, I uh, hang on a second. Here's what I made yesterday. I don't know if you were here. This is going to be the taller. I'm going to make two small ones. It's going to be small, small, and then a large one in the middle. I have not put any polyurethane on it, but that's some pretty wood, isn't it? It's like yellow and kind of red. I mean, this is called canary wood. And these are just remnants of the the nut bowl I made and the mallet I made for my uh, daughter-in-law for her birthday. But So I'm trying to make the two little ones now. So I got the first one of the, of the two. Yeah, just glue these two together. You can see where I glued them together. These are the corners I cut off the bowl. Yeah, that's it is some pretty wood. It's considered an exotic wood. It's called canary wood, and you can't get it at all. Well, oh, you know, Home Depot or Lowe's or anything like that. You got to go to a special place to get your exotic woods, and we have that here in Phoenix. But and I poly it, and I'm gonna. But that's pretty cool. You, know, you just bore it out. These are cheap. Everybody knows that. You can get it at Walmart, or 99 cent store sells them too sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna. As you can see, I put some grooves on the side. I'm gonna do that to this one too. So I got. I probably just put one, two, one, two, and then one in the middle instead of three and three and one.
Taking a water in, I'm burning in those grooves to give it some definition. You can't see it smoke because my back is sucking up the smoke and blowing it outside. I just do it till it burns. Once it smokes, it should be good to go. These are fast little things and great gifts too. For Christmas time, especially those people like candles during Christmas time. Alright, I'm gonna sand this up a little bit. Let's get some sand on it. Put some sand man on it. Sandman on it. Boy, that stuff's slippery. Jeez. Oh, that's slippery stuff. Yeah. Take my tool and put the grooves in it, then I burn it in. Pretty cool. Amazing what you learn on YouTube. <laughs> That's where I learned that. I watch all the masteries. The guy's been doing it for 40 years. You know, I've only been doing it for about 15 months on and off. Not every day. So you learn. Just get on YouTube, man. It's a it's a bottomless pit of information, as we all we as we all know. But here we go. Here's the tool I use to make the, you know, the groove, and then, like I said, I burn it in with my wire. Also, I'll burn it in again in a minute. That's why you stop sand it down a tad.
nice to have the wet back on it sucks that smoke out and I have a real long hose for my wet back it's outside you can probably hear it because I got the garage door closed down to about a foot but it blows that heat out plus uh, the smoke and any residual sawdust so I'm out in the garage so if I have more heat come in I don't need that in Arizona <laughs> Can you see it smoking? Probably can't. It's right outside. I don't have to breathe it. Yeah, no dust. It's, just, it's going right into the wet back. I don't know if you can see it much. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the truck now and I'm going to bore it out for that little lamp. I guess they call them teacups or something.
I kind of blew it. I'm gonna to have to put it back on and carve it down. This is a little, <laughs> it's a little bit fatter. I don't want. I want them to be the same in diameter. So that's okay. I should have checked it out. I did. I'll pop it on there and carve it down a little bit. No big deal. It's, I don't have much to go. But as you can see, that's that, and that won't go on. So. I'll have to regroove it, but that's all right. Live and learn, man. That's all right. Back to the drawing board. I'll get a have it right. Got to do it right if you're going to do it at all. <laughs> Peace and fire. Mr. William, how might you be, my friend? I made one, but then I realized this is fatter than this one, so I'm putting it back on the lathe, carving it back down a little bit until it's the same, same uh, diameter. This one's, he's a fat boy. So here we go, we're going to do it hook. I got one more to make. These are the corners of that that nut bowl I made out of canary wood, and I glued the corners together, so I'm making uh, these little candle holders. It's going to be two little ones and the big one in the middle. Back to the drawing board. Yeah, cross the grain. I came out pretty good. I think it's going to be all right. I was a little rough at first because my tool was a little dull. But that's all right. We'll figure it out. It's always trial and error, you know, when you're doing something different. Yeah.
Vamos. Hey, Wim. Look what I got. I'm a professional now. <laughs> I've not tried it. Can't wait, though. I know it'll work great on the inside of the bowl. That's some pretty stuff there. I got it. I went and got it yesterday. I picked it up. Well, we're getting close. We're almost down to the mark. Got it. Now I gotta put my grooves back in. I, had, I left it too fat and I thought I was gonna be ready to bore it out, but I realized it's a lot fatter than the, uh, the tall one, so I had to put it back on the drawing board. You know how it goes. Yep, I'm gonna do a little sanding again. Like I said, I, I got it down to the right thickness here in circumference, diameter. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's for sanding. I'm sorry, I, I figured out what you meant. So uh, yeah, Pat, Pat. Yeah, that's a sanding thing. Uh, my buddy there, William, Peace and Fire. He he bought one the other day, and I asked him if he liked it, and he said he did. So I had to get one. Here we go. <laughs> it's all good. We'll make it work for something.
Well, so far, you know, you can see where I've spliced them together, but you know what? That's all right. Well, I'm just going to bore it out now and recess it for the little, little candle thing. That's what I'm going to do. Try to get this thing centered on that chuck. I think that's better. Pretty good. Yeah. Don't take long to bore that out. It's about three quarter inch. I think it's about three quarter inch. I think I'll take me a little break here. Oh man! So, how was everybody's weather where you're at? Beautiful day out here in Arizona. We could use rain. But that's always has to fill up the lake so we have plenty of water, but we're always good with that, you know. We get rain once in a while. But uh we can always use rain. Always. But uh they say we have a monsoon se uh, season out here, but I've never seen one. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we have one of those hundred year floods every once in a while. Every hundred years apparently. <laughs> Yeah, I got people popping in and popping out. But I uh, appreciate you guys sticking with me. It won't take long. Bore this out. I'll do maybe a little sanding on the edge there to round it off the tad, pretty it up. Um, but uh, like I said, I use remnants. I, I don't waste anything, and I'm going to make three little, and I'm going to give it to the person that I, uh, I made the uh, canary nut bowl and mallet. It's going to be my, my daughter-in-law. And uh, so I'll give her some little candle for Christmas. It'd be nice to set them out with a nut bowl and all that. I think it'd be cool. So three candles holders. And I, these make great gifts, too, as we, I said yesterday when I was making the other, this one. Uh, I said, man, you can make these little things in no time flat and just give them to various people, you know, that you're not maybe part of your family but just real close friends or something nice little gift great gifts make three of them always look good in three one's kind of boring but three together it looks cool i made my daughter some last year for christmas and a, a 
and like a, a, a little fake flower holder and then the three candles for her Christmas. Uh, like I said, people love stuff you make for them. I do. All right, let's pour this bad boy out. Let's get her going. Let's hope it don't blow apart. I gotta go slow because it is glued together, so we'll see. One other thing, if you ever, I, I've had this happen before, if you're ever boring something out that's been glued together, sometimes if your bit's not real sharp and you're going too fast, and that's happened to me a couple of times, it, the glue will get so hot it'll separate and then it comes apart. And um, that's kind of a bummer because you put a lot of work in these things and all of a sudden uh, it has a crack in it, you know. So just remember, go slow, and if it gets hot, pull back and let it cool off. I learned the hard way, but we always do, you know, how it is. So I got to go slow. Well, tight. Hmm. I have to use a different bit.
right back. I think I got it. I won't be able to get it out. This is pretty tight. I don't know what I must have used a different one that was a little bit bigger. Hmm. Let me see. What did I do? Uh huh. Crazy. I'll have to sand it out a little bit. I'm just making uh, two more. Actually, this one, just the three, this large, the tall one, and then I want to make one more after that, so I'll have three all together that's from uh, canary wood. Just remnants glued together. Didn't waste anything. Save it all now. Still got to bore it out just a tad. Thought I had enough in there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just looked at it wrong. Let's do it.
little bit more. What's the hay? What's the hay? Yuck the hay. Just a tad more. I like it nice and flush. That's got to do it. All right, I can live with that. Okay. <laughs> Here you go. Got two. Need to make one more. What do you think? There again, this was a solid piece made from the remnants of the mallet I made. But these were the corners I cut off the 8-inch bowl. And, and so I glued them together, and you can see a little splice in there, but that's not a big deal. You don't have to. You can face it this way. Nobody will know. But I, I love canary wood. That's what this is. What do you think about that? So, one more to go. I now have three. That's a booger. That is a booger booger. I thought I had it. Yeah. I thought I had it loose. Apparently not. There we go. There we got him.
Thank you. Appreciate that. You know, everybody, I, I think one time I had somebody that was a troll, and I don't know what they were saying. They were saying not good things, I guess. But I was too busy. I and mean, the people that were watching me saying, oh, yeah, you got a troll on there. I thought, really? A troll watching me make stuff? I, <laughs> am I supposed to be honored? That's <laughs> eh, silly. I tell you, people ain't got nothing better to do. We have good content here. We encourage one another. We help each other along, teach each other, ask each other questions. How do you do that? How do you do that? What kind of wood is that? What not? It's all good. But, uh, that's what we do here. There's no need for any bad stuff here. I, I don't see the point in it. They don't have anything good to say. They can go find somebody else to go say bad things. But uh, we don't need it here. Don't need it. it. Ain't even necessary. Now, let's see if I can do this one right the first time. Oh. I guess I, I don't I don't understand it I don't understand it I'm, I don't pay no attention to them you know all they want to do is have somebody come back on them like I said the only one I do it to is my son <laughs> but that's all in fun because he knows what I'm doing but nobody else does and then but I don't do anything say anything bad it's I don't cross no ugly thresholds. I just do say silly things. And a lot of people get all lit up about it, but but I never say anything foul or vulgar. It's it's all like you need to get this guy off the line or something. I guess it's just fun. That's all I do. I don't I don't get ugly. Not gonna do that. But but that is we have that kind of planned out together where I'm um, his number one troll, but we end it. We don't let the the, the uh, that car, that dialogue go along. We just go, all right. I'm I'm the dad. I can do this. Thanks for being a good sport, you know. But we don't carry it out to make it get it heated. <laughs> but that's it, man. I'm gonna take a little break here. I am gonna take a little break. Hey, William. Are you here? Yeah, you're here. You didn't go on live last night, did you? Because I looked and I didn't see you. I think I went to bed about 9 o'clock last night myself. Yeah, it's all in fun with my son. That's it. That's the only one I say anything. But yeah, encourage, encourage people. You get a you know, that's what we need. We don't need to be put down. If we're trying, you know, people playing the guitar, trying to sing, you know, just encourage them, you know, keep going with it, you know. Some people, some of these young kids can do some serious guitar playing, oh my God, just super talent, you know. And I love anything like that, musical or craftsmanship, I love it all, you know. Hey, did you, uh, the Blind Woodsman, he made a bowl that's, insane crazy with a, like 30 some pieces and it's 
gorgeous. I don't know if you've seen that. Hung out with the family. Oh, that's always good too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's what my, my wife and I last night, we, we watched a movie and uh, we didn't get to finish it because someone came over. Uh, and then by that time, I was ready to go to bed. You know, we had some popcorn, stuff like that, you know. Just sit and watch the movie. But usually I do all my lives in the morning because those old geezers, we go to bed early, but we get up early, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he finished that bowl, and um, I, I have him on Facebook, so he posts that kind of stuff on Facebook, and because uh, it's hard sometimes to catch it on here, even though I'm, I've, 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 uh, you know, asked him to be my friend. Of course, he don't need to ask anybody to be his friend. He's got hundreds of followers, <laughs> but uh, man, that bowl, I thought. I'm sitting here thinking, and I can see how would I do that. The the most difficult one I did together was with one with the three crosses. In fact, I shipped it to a friend of mine who lives in California. Uh, we grew up together. We were in the same foster home together. She was a foster sister of mine. Long story short, I sent it to her. She got it yesterday. So that's where that's at, you know. That one took a lot of cutting and pieces and figuring out how am I going to do that. But what he did was out of this world. <laughs> Unbelievable that that guy. He just blows me away every time I see his work. Inspires you. Definitely keeps you going because I think if he can do it, you know, I can do it. You know, but I don't know. I don't think I could top that one. That's crazy. I think that's probably his crown and jewel. But, man, well, if you go live tonight, chime me. Give me a heads up so I can watch you. Like I said, I don't even watch TV anymore. I, I, I watch TikTok, you guys, you and Jesse. And I hope I get to see some of these other guys that, that, are, that do woodworking, too. I don't ever see them come up on a live, and I've asked them to be my friend, so it should pop up. Yeah, he's definitely gifted. Unbelievable what he does. Anybody that sees a guy like that says, I'm not, I'm not going to sit on my butt anymore and whine. I'm going to go out and do something, you know, whatever it is, they, whatever gift it is, get off your be behind and, and go do it. No excuses, you know, try it out. Successes and failures. We all have our good, bad, and uglies, <laughs> you know, but uh, shoot. It's going to be 98 today. Hi. Beautiful morning, though, in the 60s. Wife and I were out watering the garden and stuff like that. We don't have a big backyard, which is great for us, you know, for two retired people. But she does flowers, and she's got we've got flowers everywhere. Oh, my God. Stuff. I have to do a, a live on my backyard one day so we can just do a panoramic view. But like I said, it's small, which is works. I'm glad because it'll take me long to cut the grass front and back and then there's in Texas I had a whole acre eh, you know and trees you know it's all green like you like you where you're at same thing same same difference you know very green I had a you know sweet gum tree back there I had all kinds of stuff and then I had a magnolia tree I had some kind of oak in the front couldn't ever did figure out what that was five pine trees in the front yard which is crazy I had a black walnut tree which is wonderful but the squirrels liked it better than I did, I think. <laughs> yep, the only thing to hold us back is us, man. You know, don't tell me I can't do something. I'll figure it out. Or get on YouTube and figure it out, you know. But, uh, yeah, I ain't afraid to try anything, you know. I know I'm a, I'm a fairly decent craftsman where I, I figure, okay, I, I can do that. You're a craftsman. Jesse's a craftsman. A lot of people out here, they just have, we, we just have the, I believe it's from gift from God that we have that ability to jump into it and give it our best, you know? Right, yeah. But, uh, 
So, yeah, it's pretty much a nice place to live for two people that are retired. Um, front and back, easy. I can say my wife babies her plants like they, you know, are kids. <laughs> and I grow some vegetables. Man, I've been having a good harvest in my uh, zucchini squash. Crazy. My okra's coming in pretty good. Yeah, I love okra. And I've got some tomatoes, and i got yellow squash, and uh, what else do I got going out there? Got a lot of different kinds of peppers, bell peppers, chili peppers, you know, just stuff that we grow. And then I, my eggplant's blowing up again. I've had that eggplant for three years. I give more away than I, we can eat. And I've got a little bit of a, 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 a herb garden, a, a herb garden rather. And uh, so, yeah, we stay busy with, but I camp out in my garage a lot for the obvious. Always something to do. Yeah. But, uh, Billy, to face fear and not use fear. Yeah, you know, I, what's there to be afraid of? You make a mistake, that's your education. If you had to go pay someone to learn that, you'd pay them money to learn not to do that. But if you learn it on your own, a little mistake, it costs you no money, but you you definitely paid for it because you made a mistake, but you learn. And that's why I look at it. Stuff blows up. I mean, you, you've had things blow off. Well, I have had things blow off here. We go, oh, okay, we know what to do about that next time. <laughs> uh, but I'm still learning like you, you know. But this is fun to encourage one another to learn from each other. And and uh, all positive stuff, man. I don't know. I just don't get some people... I. Someone has to be really miserable to want to bring people down, you know. If you're constantly belittling people or putting them down and just finding fault, where's the good in that? It just makes you look like you know what. And uh, be able to bump, man. Golly. Crazy. I remember I was in Goodwill, and I bought, I had in my hand a little guitar, because I buy a bunch of little guitars for my grandsons. I have a bunch of them, different sizes, because they're little guys, and they come over, they bang on them, you know. And this kid approached me, he goes, excuse me, sir, are you going to buy that guitar? I said, yeah. And his mother wasn't around, so I didn't want to make too much dialogue around with him, because, you know, a strange guy, but he approached me about it. And, uh... By that time, I, I had went outside, or I went and paid for it and took it out of the car, came back, and my wife was still inside. By that time, the ladies, the little boy's mother was close to where we were, and I was with my wife that time. So he approached me again, and he goes, sir, did you buy that guitar? I go, yeah, I did. And I go, I go do you, you want that guitar? And he goes, yeah. I go, I went outside and I gave it to him. You know, the, the mother was kind of, I don't know what her deal was. But by that time, I was with my wife, so it didn't look too creepy. <laughs> I gave the guitar to the kid. You know, I'm all about, you know, if, if you if you want to play the guitar, get the kid a guitar, you know. Uh, help him out because you never know who, who you just influenced, you know. He could be the next great guitar player. Maybe I had something to do with that. So, uh Makes you feel good when you can do the guitar is like eight bucks. <laughs> you know, it wasn't anything. I just gave it to him. You know, I, and I told him up front and the and the register people. I said I'm giving this guitar to this kid. You know, so they knew about it. So it wouldn't be look bad on the kid like he was taken out of the store. But uh, I, I like doing stuff like that. You know, it's just a great moment in time. But I can say that I, you know. He was after that guitar, man. I thought, that's desire. You know, that is desire. <clears throat> well, I give a lot of that stuff away because, man, my, my, my zucchini is blowing up. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, you know, I know you can make different things, but I only eat like twice a day. Now we'll have maybe breakfast and eat a late lunch, dinner, slash dinner, about two or three o'clock, whatever we do. And, and, you know, but I know you can make uh, zucchini relish. I know that. I never have done that. We can put it up. And, but I get my neighbor, I get neighbors that got, you know, a family of four or five over there. I think one, two, three, yeah, four people over there. And I got other people, you know. So we just spread the wealth. I have more fun giving away than I do eating it myself sometimes. <laughs> but uh, misery loves company. Well, yeah, I know what you're saying. Man. I don't know why. Wait, what's the deal with that? How can that make you feel good to just rip somebody up? And it's not funny. If it was funny. You know, like practical jokes, it's it's only funny if it's funny for both people, not just one, you know. So practical jokes, there's always a threshold of how far do I go. And it, it depends on the individual. Some people can't take a practical joke. But uh, practical jokes could be, like I said, be fun if it's fun for both people, but it has to be that way. Otherwise, you've done wrong. But uh, got to watch them practical jokes sometimes. There's always a practical joke around it. I think everything's funny, but not necessarily for both people. Uh, I'm taking a break for a minute. Man, I tell you, I need to get me one of them cushy things on the floor here. Do you have one of those, William? Those little pads that are like so thick and real nice cushy. My wife says she's going to get me one. had not done it yet. I'm waiting. <laughs> Zucchini pasta. I, my daughter makes zucchini pasta. I've never had it. Um, I have to find out how to, how she makes that. Or they call it zucchini spaghetti. I guess same difference, you know. But uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess I should get chiseling away on this thing, huh? Okay. I must have missed something. I'm sorry, what is Harbor Freight sale? I missed that. I missed something on that deal, William. Excuse me. Oh, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm, okay, yeah, okay. Thank you for telling me that. I lost track of our conversation. <laughs> My mind goes on rabbit trails like crazy, you wouldn't believe. You know, you don't want to live in here too long. <laughs> well, I, <clears throat> excuse me, I think I want to get chiseled away on the third little thing here. You're the only one here with me. Other people are chiming and chiming out. I guess I'm not pretty enough or something. But uh, <laughs> I don't care. I just do this for him. I can always count on you being here, maybe Jesse. But Jesse works, you know, and, and stuff like that. Everyone's got busy during the day. I get it. You know, it's no problem. Uh, no problem with that. But, uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> yeah. Shoot. Yeah. All right. Let me uh, let me get rocking and popping on this. Let's just get going with this. My tool is a little dull. Interesting enough, I started using this one. This side is dull because that's the common side I use. So I turned it over and I use this side. It's really sharp, so it's really good to whittle away on this side. So rather than going and sharpen a bunch of tools, I'm just going to whittle away on this side. It should be good to go. But there again, I'm going against the grain on this because I put the two triangle pieces together that I cut off the corners of the uh, that block of, of canary wood I had uh, to take some of that out of the circumference of the bowl that I made a while back. So let's give this a shot. It's always worth a shot. Wish me well on this. But this time I'm not, this time I'll make sure I got the right uh, diameter 
Because last time I, I took it off and I had to put it back on and chisel away at it some more to get it the right, so that they didn't look too big compared to the one that's uh, the taller one. So, you know how it goes. Let's rock it.
Get in there. Almost. Spliced together, it kind of looks cool. I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll pull it up later on and I'll show you. But um, if the base is a little crooked, maybe I should flip it around. I better cut that down a little bit. Put it on the sander to get that flatter. I thought it was flatter than it is. That's all right. We can fix it. I'll just put it on the sander. Oh, and this sawdust is so slippery. My goodness. Mercy on me. I don't know where to mark it. Mark it on my tool rest. I don't know exactly where to go. <laughs> okay, Wayne.
I'm here. I haven't got away. <laughs> I'll be right there too. Fill up my drink. Good old water. Man, this is some pretty grain, even though it's been glued together. It's kind of cool. I'll give you a show here, like I said, in a minute. But we need to put some grooves in it. I made my marks on my to match this one. I just took my Sharpie and made marks on my tool rest. I don't know if you see me do that. So I know where to uh, put my carves. <laughs> Let's try that out. Yeah, I tell you. Yeah. Now I can put the pencil marks on it now. Does it wears down the pencil? Now I can put my pencil marks. <laughs> that was my own invention. There's always a way. At least they'll be close, the two that I'm trying to be identical. If anything, they'll be fraternal. <laughs> Burn it in. Probably can't see the smoke because the smoke's go right in the wet back, and I have the wet back outdoors. Stand it up a little bit.
Yeah, that's pretty almost dead on. Pretty. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty. All right. I'm turn that thing off. That thing is so loud. I'm going to clean that whip back out. I think it's screaming at me. I'm still here, don't go away.
I'm still here. I'm trying to find a bit. A little bit. Try a different bit. Well, hello, daughter. We had a few people here. I had a few. Oh, yeah, get these shell pieces out. What y'all doing? Over there in the robin's nest. Guess what I'm making? I have these little remnant pieces of that canary wood. From I made that canary netball. I made it for Atlanta's. Uh, I guess you call it my step my step daughter in law for her birthday it was just a week or two ago. And uh, no, not a pencil holder. <laughs> made plenty of those. I am making these are remnants of that of that ball and mallet that I made for uh, Beth, Chris, uh, Chris's wife, Beth. You know them, Atlanta's son, his wife. Well, for her birthday, I made I made that canary nut bowl like I made you a nut bowl. The mallet I made her a mallet. Well, I thought, well, shoot, and I made you some candle holders too. I thought, well, I got these little pieces. I'm gonna glue them together, and. Uh, 
So I made two. This is canary wood. This is just remnants of what I cut off. And uh, I'm making one more like this. So that's what I'm about ready to bore it out so I can put the little little candles in there. So that's what I'm doing. A candle holder. They call them teacups, don't they? Is that what they call them? That's what Lana says. Anyway. So one more. I'm going to bore it out, and I'm just about done here. It's backwards, but you can read it. The Desert Rat Wood Creations. Cheers. Let's get this thing bored out. A little bit more. Are the boys watching me? Hi, boys. Woo! That wasn't supposed to happen. It's almost the best. That never happened before. Got the table alone. Well, tell them to come watch Grandpa. Yo. 
don't like that. <coughs> now I have fraternal twins. <laughs> Pretty cool. Turn that wet back off. That has a sounds like a turbine engine. I'm gonna sand this bottom down a little bit. I'll be right back. Hang on, I gotta turn the power on. Sand the bottom off, it was a little crooked. I think that's going to be nice. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to give the Beth because it belongs, the wood belongs to her, like the wood I used, remnants. I made something else for you out of that bowl. I didn't make any, let anything go to waste. So I'm about ready to pop off here, anyways. But uh, that's some pretty grain. I, I glued this, these pieces, these triangle pieces together. And I made the two little ones. But uh, that's some pretty wood. Canary wood. Yeah, what the heck? Even though it's spliced together, you can put that in the front. Nobody will ever know. You know, you can you can display it like so. It's some beautiful wood. I imagine you saw my reveal on that bowl that I gave Beth for her birthday. And the mallet. But... Uh, here it is, voila. Chicago Joe, you're in and out, dude. I don't know, but I, I'm I'm happy with this. I uh, it is what it is. Now we have three. The tall one, which is beautiful, that red. This was part of the mallet, so it's there's no splicing on this. This is a solid piece. But I didn't want this to go to waste, so I thought, well, I'll just make a few more candles. They'll go side by side. I think like I made yours. You know? There we go. I'll do a reveal tomorrow, probably. I gotta poly these because I polyed her bowl and mallet, so I'll probably poly these, put some polyurethane on them to make it shiny like what I made her, so but uh, shoot, these make great little gifts too for people that you know you're, you're maybe you're not real close to them, but you want to give them something. And these are quick and easy, and and, and people love that kind of stuff. You send them out especially for Christmas time. The Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> How about that? That's what I go with. Three candles. <laughs> but uh, I'm glad they turned out. I'm glad they didn't blow apart on me where I spliced them together because uh, that was. Not been a good thing. Let me send them over here. Get out of here in a minute. Yeah, I'm happy with them. I'm pretty darn happy about that. We'll do this. I lost something. Where'd it go? I laid thing down and I can't find it. Anymore. I cannot. Oh, here it is. Right where I left it. Yeah, getting this bad boy off is always a trick.
I'm about ready to shut this down, ladies. And I dropped it. Went somewhere. Take my chuck off. Chuck it, chuck it, chuck it. Chuck it. God, have mercy on me. Whatever you do, don't get old. It's hard on the body. <laughs> okay. Are you still there, sweetie? I am going to... I have another bowl all ready to go on the way. Let me see here. I still got that one for Evan. That I'm, I'm keeping that one for Evan for he, he and I's return, so... You tell him that I, I didn't do anything with it. So that's for he and I to do. This is some kind of organic wood I bought. Sedua. Don't ask me how to pronounce it. S-H-E-D-U-A, I believe it is. Sedua. Yes. I might be pronouncing it correctly. I don't know, but I'm gonna. That's gonna be my next adventure. And uh, so, it's supposed to be really hard, dense wood. So if it's anything like oak, it's not gonna be fun. Camera will be shaking because I'm turning this tailpiece. I'm not going to do this today. My my back is hurting. I went to the chiropractor this morning, but I know how that goes. Ooh. Here, I'm all ready to go for the next adventure in woodworking. All right, sweetie. Well, I'm glad you got to chime in at the last minute there. But... I had a few people. I, I have William and uh, this other guy. Uh, his name was. Oh, golly. My mind's gone. Eh, anyway. So I'm going to head out of here. So God bless America. And you can watch this on YouTube if you want to watch anything. Basically, I just bore, you know, made it, put some grooves on it, sand a little bit, bore it out, and voila. I think I'm going to make a bunch of these because I've got a bunch of remnants over here. And I'm going to uh, have these set aside just for little gifts. Bye, sweetie. See you soon. we got to get Cullen over here in the next few days. Maybe first part of next week. Anyways, we'll talk. I got Lana's not here. She went to Goodwill. She went shopping. <laughs> All right. Love you, and uh, I'll talk to you later, sweet. I'm going to close this thing down here in a minute. All right. You're supposed to wait a few seconds before you shut it down because it's on a DLA. So, yeah, we'll set that up as soon as I get with Lana and find out a day. It'll probably be the beginning of next week sometime, between Monday and Wednesday, probably. Anyway, it'll be all right. All right. Love you. Bye. That was America.